Greetings and welcome to our midweek motivational moment. Today is Wednesday, September the 2nd, and it is another beautiful day that the Lord has given us. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. God is great all the time and all the time. God is so very great. So today for our midweek motivational moment, I want to continue on the topic of believing in your restoration, believing in your recovery, believing in your renewal. I'm telling you, God is a God of second chances, third chances, fourth chances, chances after chance. The Lord is merciful and his mercy endureth forever. Uh, There is a scripture text that I want to lift up coming from the book of John chapter 8 verses 1 through 11. I'm just going to give a summary of it. But at a time when Jesus was out and about the people brought to him a woman who was caught in the act of adultery they brought her unto Jesus and at the time the law was to stone her for her to be stoned so they brought the woman unto Jesus ready to condemn her ready to stone her ready to take her out and so they asked Jesus what should they do and Jesus said first he didn't speak to them at first first he just began to write in the sand, put his head down, wrote in the sand, and they just kept talking to Jesus, what should we do? So when Jesus looked up, he said, ye who are among you who is without sin, cast the first stone. So they had to look within themselves and think about it. Wow, have I ever done anything wrong? Am I perfect? No, I'm not perfect. No, I've done things wrong. So what they did was they threw their stones down and walked away. And with the woman there that was, you know, she was going to take whatever came to her. Jesus said to her, woman, where are your accusers? And the woman said, none, neither, none are here. And Jesus said to her, neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. Go and sin no more. How powerful is that? Jesus allowed them to look within themselves and look at their own hearts and examine their own selves because they were ready to take this woman out because she was caught in the act of adultery because she was doing something that wasn't right but if they looked at themselves they all had done things wrong in their lives so nobody is in a a position to condemn anyone else thank you Jesus it is important for us If we're going to go out and get people, go out and get people and love on them. Go out and get people and care about them. Go out and get people and tell them and show them the goodness of the Lord and let them know that they can be restored, that they can be healed, that they can be recovered. It's not just acts of recovery, uh, acts of adultery that people do. It's different things that people do, different pitfalls that people have different strongholds that people have and when they have these strongholds what do we do do we go get them and condemn them and talk about them and judge them and put them down because they're not walking that straight and narrow path or do we let them know that God loves you that God can heal you and I love you too do you do you do that do we do that we are called to do that we are called to love one another thank you Jesus So as I leave you for today, believe, believe in the power of God, believe in the power of his might, believe in the power of his restoration, because God is able to do anything but fail. It is important for us to believe in what he could do in our lives, even when the situation looks dire, even when it looks like it's not going to work out, like I'm sure with her in that situation. She was ready to face her fate. She was ready to face her doom because she was caught. Her accusers were there ready to take her out. But God, but Jesus, but Jesus was there. And Jesus had a word that appealed to the hearts of others. So as I leave you for today, remain blessed, remain resilient. 
Keep walking and talking with the Lord and believe in your restoration. God bless you.